Okay, I'd like to show today two programs working together to make something really cool. Uh, a, video, a video game, actually. The two programs is uh, Styx and Multimedia Fusion 2. Styx is an upgraded version of Pivot. Uh, if you don't have it, I would highly recommend getting it instead of Pivot. It accepts all your old Pivot stuff and upgrades everything, and it works a lot better, has a lot more functionality to it. So definitely uh, get this version instead of uh, staying with Pivot. Uh, what I did basically is I created a couple of animations of just a just a standard guy here. I didn't want to do anything too fancy because I just want to show the concept and then have you guys run with it. Uh, so I basically created a guy that's just standing here, first of all. And when I play this, he just stands there and he's breathing. You can see this, I could you know, change the length of a line, which is really cool. Um, save that on that. The next one, I animated him walking. We'll play there, so just taking one step and just looping it makes it look like he's walking. And I animated him falling, so for in the video game when he dies, he's just gonna fall like that. Again, cheesy animations, but it works. Um, I had another animation. Let's see right here. He's standing, walking, shooting. Ah, there it is. When he shoots a bullet, just kind of like forces him back there. All right. um, I forgot to make an animation of him jumping, um, so I'll do that really quick. I'll just you know, file new. And here's a guy just getting ready to jump. So I'll just kind of jump. Here we go, so jumping, coming back down, and it doesn't show him jumping, but we will do that in the video game itself, so. Alright, so that's that completes all my animations. I've got most of it done in the other program too. Here's Multimedia Fusion. Um, so basically you have frames, you can, I can add more frames here for new levels. Um, I'm not going to do that right now, get rid of that. I'll double click and go into my frame here. So here's the frame. Um, this is a really cool program. It has all these uh, library down here. You have your workspace over here. Um, all sorts of nifty things. <coughs> so basically what I have right now, if I were to play the game, um, is a guy right here. So I use his walking animation like that. So And he's standing there. He's doing the little breathing. Um, if I hit the space bar, he shoots a little ball there that I grabbed out of Multimedia well, Fusion down here. Um, probably shouldn't make my own bullet using the sticks program, but I'll do that later. Uh, jumping, just we, we don't have that yet. And I have a shift, we don't want to do that. I'm going to change that button right away. Um, and then he dies when he hits that. So I'm going to change the uh, jumping animation. So I'll just double click on this guy. Brings up the uh, editor. Over here we have all these buttons here. And then down in here we have all these different things. So I've done the stopped as breathing, the walking, then the disappearing was his falling animation launching was a shooting and so now I need to do jumping okay so now I'm clicked on jumping which activates that one and I'll come up here and I'll clear it so we have transparent background then I will import an animation now as you can see it's not here yet because I did not export it so I'm going to go right here to the to my guy untitled okay so I need to save this so first of all I would just save it as guy jumping jump guy okay so that's saved that doesn't do it quite yet that just saves it now I'm gonna go export animation 
and let's call it jump guy. I have all the other ones saved there. This is all in that same folder. So I'm going to save it as jump guy. And now it's ready for multimedia fusion. So what I want to do is get the jump guy, I'll open it to pick the transparent color. So make that the white color is transparent. And then it'll make all that disappear and it'll be a lot easier. So then import as animation and say OK. And now that's already done for you. So that's, I'm just going to, um, yeah, still did it to that one. Oops. Undo. Click. Click. All right. So I'm going to come down here, select all of them, come up here and trim them all down. The next thing I want to do is adjust the, the hot spot. And make that to, to the center of all of them. And then that should work out pretty well. Um, for all my other animations, I'll just do that. It's going to be the same for the jump, but for all my other animations, what I had to do was uh, right click, copy, and then come over here, right click, paste, and I put them all in there. To make them face the other way, I just right clicked on there and said flip horizontal, which he is a little bit different, so I guess that would be all right. Um, then you can go to direction and options. This is the speed at which he performs the animation. I'm thinking he's going to go a little fast for what I want, so I'm going to move it down to 20. Uh, I need to do it on that one. Make sure you do all these settings before you start copying the frames over, because then you only have to do it once. Anyway, so that's that. <clears throat> Looping it would make it go over and over again, but for a jump, you only want it to do once. So I will hit OK. And we are ready to go. So now when I hit F7, I forgot to change the button, so I'll just jump one time. So shift. So he's jumping really fast there. Um, I'm going to fix that. So I'm going to come over here. Here's how you give him that platform movement. Just click on movement tab and click on platform to give him platform movement. Um, speed. Like that like 30, that's him walking around. The jumping, I'm going to turn the gravity down. I'm going to turn the strength of the jump up. And come up to application. I'll go to my runtime options. I don't know why they hide it in here, but default controls. Go to the keyboard for the first player. Here is my um, button one, which is shift, that's the jump. So I'm going to click on button 1, then it lets me choose what I want. I'm just going to hit the up button, now the up will climb a ladder, and it'll jump, but I don't have any ladders, so it's okay. Okay, okay, don't forget to hit okay. I'll try it again. 7, now when I hit up, he jumps a lot better, and uh, that kind of works out really nice. I made it so spacebar shoots. I'll give you a little bit more on that. All right, so this button right here shows the conditions. So the collide with the background, that is that gray strip. I make it so he stops. I hit the press bar, the press the space bar. He uh, changes to launching. That's the animation there. As soon as that launching is playing and the, uh, the frame, so when it gets to frame five, and it was shooting two bullets at a time, so I put this on there, and that seemed to fix the problem. I've never used that before, so it's kind of a new thing for me. Uh, I have it create it kind of in the middle of the animation. Otherwise, it created it too soon or too late, and it made that bullet come out right when I wanted it to. Um, I should probably uh, go to the order, say, you know, move it to the back. That way it comes out from kind of behind it. So now when I run my guy, well, I have to move first and then it shoots in the right direction. So it's coming from behind him. So it kind of shoots from behind him, but we could fix that later. That's kind of a, a different thing to get into. Um, 
So as you can see, it's pretty easy to use Multimedia Fusion. Those of you who haven't, uh, you have your if statements here and your then statements over here. Real easy to program without having to learn programming language, but it's a great way to get started in programming because it you know, kind of teaches you the format of things. Um, I am a school teacher and I use this to teach my students the basics of programming and uh, the pivot program or sticks now is used to show uh, stop animation and concepts like that so it's, they're two wonderful programs easy for kids to use and um, when you attach a video game to it it just brings the uh, the desire of the learning up and uh, you know, shows applications of things and kids can have uh, something fun and, you know, that they've created that they could take home and say hey look look I made a whole video game from scratch and uh, I did all the animations myself and made everything all by myself um, I'm hoping that others out there will see this and uh, hopefully get inspired to do something hopefully a lot better than what I've done here there are people out there that can make amazing animations with pivot and uh, with this sticks program they can go a lot more advanced and uh, they can make some characters um, and then we can import them into a video game and just make it so much better instead of just watching your animations you can actually bring them to life and control them um, so good luck and uh, let me know what you've come up with